Hello class, this is section 7.1 and in this video we are going to prove the second assertion that gamma x plus 1 equals x gamma x. We can write down gamma x plus 1 as this integral by just plugging in tx dt and the next step is to perform an integration by parts. So we need this to be our dv. So dv is going to be e minus t, which means that v is going to be minus e minus t, taking the antiderivative. And we're going to need this term to be our u. So u is equal to tx, du is equal to x t x minus 1. So by integration by parts, we know that dv, u dv is going to be equal to, to vu v du. And writing that down, v is just going to be minus e minus t. u is going to be t raised to the x power. And this first term is going to be taken from infinity to 0 minus v, and this second term is an integral, minus e minus t, du is going to be x t x minus 1, and this integral taken dt from infinity to 0. And this integration by parts tells us that we have this equal to minus e minus t tx from infinity to 0 minus gamma of x minus x gamma of x. By taking the x out, we notice that it's exactly the same form as the gamma x function we started with. And remember that x is a constant here because we are taking the integral in terms of t. So we can just pull out the x this way. So this should be a plus. So what's left to do is we need to show that e minus t, tx from infinity to 0 is equal to 0. So let's calculate to see what that is. e minus t, tx, bracket from infinity to 0, is equal to the limit as b goes to infinity of e minus b times b to the x minus e minus 0 times t times 0 to the x, sorry. And this is clearly just 0. And so we need to calculate this limit dx over e b. And from here, we can just note that exponential functions always increase faster than polynomial functions. And remember, x is a constant here. So this is just going to be equal to 0 because the denominator is going to grow a lot faster than the numerator. I believe that you've learned this in your calculus classes, but if you can't remember, one way to show this is to just apply L'Hopital's rule several times and you will get this result. But this implies that we have this term becoming equal to 0, and so indeed gamma x plus 1 is equal to x gamma x, just like we wanted.